Hello, welcome to episode one of my Let's Play of Seven Days to Die. This is recorded pretty much immediately before Alpha 8 was released, where we're going to have the option to automatically generate randomly created or procedurally generated worlds. But let me go ahead and start this one. Um, this is just sort of going to be a test to being one of my first YouTube videos. I'm going to put it up on YouTube, but if uh, you see a bunch of other videos made by me, you might want to check out a uh, different series of them first. So, it'll probably be a little bit higher quality as I get better at being a Let's Play YouTuber. But let's go with new game here. I'm going to create game one. Just give it a random name. I'm going to leave all the settings and the default. You can adjust the difficulty, how long the days are, whether zombies run all the time or just in the dark. But here we go. And we wait. I'm not sure why the screen shifts while it does this. I'll take a moment to drag it back once it finishes loading here. But definitely been enjoying this game. Bought it in early access a while ago. I think Alpha 1.1 1 .1 or something like that. It's uh, quickly become one of my favorites. I'm a big fan of zombie survival games. And this is one where you get to build your own shelters and try to survive. All right, here I am in the middle of nowhere. The wind is blowing. I can hear the dead are near me. Not lying still as they should, but searching hungry. I've got a few supplies. Check my map. I need to move towards shelter soon. It's morning, but the day passes quickly. Already I've been spotted. No time to do take inventory here. Let's see what have I got. I suppose a pickaxe will have to do. Dogs, too. I hate dogs. Well, dead ones at least. I haven't seen a live dog in ages. I think I'll just avoid them if I can for now. We need a better weapon than this. Maybe there's something in that ruin up ahead. Nothing. And drop something that's already been searched over. This area has been picked rather clean. Just more of the dead here. I had hoped this area would prove to be different than the rest of the world that I've encountered. I'd be in trouble if I can't even hit a rock. Water is scarce. You can't be picky about such things these days if you want to survive. Ow! Stupid plants slowing me down. Ugh. All right, guy. Yeah, that's right. Beat up on you nice and slow. Ow! 
Alright, this is not a good start. I bandage myself up here. Eat some chili. Grab a drink. Clearly, a pickaxe is not the best tool for fighting giant zombies. toward the city. I'm trying to look for a structure I can survive in over the night. There's going to be plenty up here. The cities also mean Plenty of undead as well. A knife. Not the best option, but best I have so far. <sighs> Stabbed him in the face. <sighs> Useful stuff, useful stuff. Weapon repair kit. Lots of weapon repair kits. Nice. I think I'll just leave the rest. Now, I've never used one of these before. to read up on that. This is not a place to do that. You know, I think I will call that for episode one of my beginner YouTube Let's Play releases. Thanks for watching, and check out more videos to come.